if you're looking for a yellowtail in the month of June in San Diego, there's pretty much one place you're gonna go, and that's the Coronado Islands. I'm gonna drive the boat. You keep an eye out for yellowtail, okay? Okay. The Coronado Islands are an island chain that's owned by Mexico. They're in Mexican waters. It's uninhabited, and it's about 15 miles off of Point Loma in San Diego. So for all intents and purposes, I mean, it's next door. You can go on a party boat one day. On a party boat one day? Yeah. You asked Tio Ali about that. I don't know if he's gonna wanna do it, but yeah, maybe me you and mommy will go, okay? These islands are buttered up directly against the Pacific Ocean. And for that reason, they benefit from those currents coming and slamming into them and providing good, clean water, which then provides bait, which of course lures in the yellowtail. You know, you can catch a white sea bass at the islands. And then even when the water is blue enough, it is not unheard of to catch a bluefin tuna, smaller one typically, right next to the island. It's a pretty unique and magical place. I don't see any yet, but we're just getting started. So it takes a while to find them usually. So the first thing we do when we roll into the islands, just like even rolling into the offshore grounds, is you want to get the lay of the land. And in order to get the lay of the land, I need to slow the boat down. And if I'm slowing the boat down, I'm putting lures in the water. You know, we can put a couple of DTXs back. It's not going to slow us down too much. And now you're in the game and you're fishing. Hey, Duke, Tio's got one. Here we go, bud. It's go time. Come here. Go, Tio. Let's go to this side of the boat. Let me clear this back. Right. I'll get Come on, dude. I don't know what it is. The great thing about the Coronado Islands is there's always something to catch. It's Let me it's get them here. Hard. What? It's pulling hard. Yeah, they pull really hard. This is Calico. You know, we've done past shows there, and I think we've shown about everything that place has to offer. This time of year, it's a great spot for surface activity. Oh, I feel them kicking. Uh, you doing a fight, Duke. Uh, you feel them kicking? Uh -huh. He's doing it all himself. Uh, oh, he's got it, man. If you want to go out and chuck some nomads, you want to chuck, you know, your surface iron, whatever, you're always going to find a candidate willing to bite. Is that a little tiny yellowtail? Is that a yellowtail? Let's look. Lift our rod up. Let's see what it is. Come on. Hey, wait, wait. Oh, look oh. what we got, Duke. Look, dude, you caught a calico bass. Calico bass, buddy. Your first one. Yeah, I caught good. Look, you can Come show it to him. Look, buddy. Come here. Let's show Mikey. That's your first calico bass. Calico bass is one of our staple fish here on the West Coast. It's one of the ones that you really start catching early on in your saltwater career. It, yeah. Isn't he cool? Yeah. See the colors on him? You see he's got checkers on him, like a checkerboard? Yeah, you, you, you haven't caught a fish yet. I know, thanks for reminding me, buddy. That's really helpful. And we've got a million names for them. You know, we'll call them sport coats because of the way the coat looks on them and it's got that sort of a plaid pattern to it. We call them checkerboards. You know, there's a million other names for them, but at the end of the day, it's the calico bass and it's a staple in Southern California. We're gonna go get a bigger fish and we'll get some rockfish later to eat, okay? The bass don't taste that good anyway. You know, a lot of people want to get their kids into fishing. And to be honest, I see a lot of people do it wrong. You know, I've taken guys out with their kids, like, let's get these kids on the water, let's get them fishing. And I look over, and dad's fishing. Oh, dude, go come up here. To you. Go up to you. He's got one. Come here, buddy. Come here. All right, you got him? Turn the handle. Well, this one's strong, huh? got to understand, man, that first impression with these kids, if you want your kid to become a fisherman, is so important. It has to be about them 1,000%. You've got to show them fun. Keep going, buddy. Turn the handle. You got Turn it. Turn the handle, dude. There you go. Big old calico. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I saw him come on the meter. Hang on, buddy. Came off? See, no, sea lion grabbed the kid's fish. My hatred for silky sharks is probably only exceeded by my hatred for sea lions. Oh, it's a cheap's head. It's a cheap's head. Get it, buddy. Hey, I, I got a cheap's head. Oh, no, it's still head. good. I got a cheap's head. Hey, you get to keep this one, buddy. Dude, we can keep I got a cheap's head. Oh, Duke, I, I got check it out. Head. They will literally break your will and your spirit. I can't tell you how many times we just flat out can't fish. Look at that! Whoa. That's your first sheep this head. Is your first sheep's head too. These are really cool. I like this sheep's see, head. See it? Look at the teeth on him. See yeah. the bite mark on his tail? Yeah. You know what happened to him? The sea lion grabbed him. Remember when the rod bent over really hard? Yeah. The sea lion tried to get our fish. But who won? Me. It's maddening. 
But again, we're given a certain stack of cards. You got to figure out how to shuffle them and deal with it and get past sea lions, sharks, whatever it may be. It's a sheep's head. Sheep's head, yeah. These are really good for fish tacos. Lift it up. You got it. Oh, 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 oh you got it. You ready? I want you to Once we clear the reef, we have the reef line. And you've been on the reef, right? We've been diving on the reef. We yellow tail on the reef. We bottom fish on the reef. OK? You know, certain times of year, you have certain species that are around. And right about the time school gets out, one of Cade's favorite things to do is go mahi fishing. So what we're looking for is an area where the weed is in a straight line. You look, you're looking for some of that current, weed lines, uh, debris, any of that stuff. And you're basically hunting, and that's what the kids really like. You're heading right towards them. Uh, right now, my son's at a fun age. He's at that age where I could actually turn the boat over to him, obviously with me on it, but I could turn the controls over to him. He could drive the boat, he could run the cockpit. Uh, you know, it's like having a little mate along with me. Kind of see if there's anything here. A lot of times the fish will hang under this weed and eat all the bait underneath it. Dolphin fishing in general is a lot like hunting. And we're just going to drop it back, okay? About 100 feet. Once I find that body of water I'm looking for, now we're going to take either some little jigs or ballyhoo or lures, whatever it, whatever it might be. I'm going to put them out there and I'm going to work down these edges. It might be weed lines. There we go. There you go. Hold on. All right. Oh, you got him, buddy. There you go. Oh, we got another one. Oh, we're about to get another one on. About to be three. I think there might be a school here. Awesome. Took a little bit, but we found them, huh? Now, what I'm going to do, buddy, when you get that one to the boat, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give you this one, all right? Hi. How you doing, good? Yep. You know, as a dad too, you know, I remember taking him out for the first time. First day, uh, our good friend and guide down here, Stephen Palameni, had bought Cade a Spider-Man fishing pole. And Cade could not wait to get it. Fast forward seven years now, and now these, these species we've caught, these fish we've caught, have gone from catching pinfish to the kid has caught tarpon, permit, big giant wahoo, mahi, tuna. I mean, the kid, the kid's fishing resume right now has uh, gotten pretty impressive. Walk around this way, just hold, kind of hold it tight. Reel a little more. You're gonna reel it right to that swivel, okay? That's good. Don't lift anymore. Don't lift them out of the water. Ready? Boom. All right, dude. Finally get a little action there, huh? Yeah. Been a tough day, but finally got one. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Maybe one day we'll get you one of those 40, 50 pounders. Yeah. Today might be the day. All right, so we're going to throw them in the box. Sound good? Yeah. All right, let's go see if we can get you a few more. You know, the other good thing is, you know, you're out with your son, and I can remember teaching him how to fish and telling him, you know, the proper things to do, how to free line, and watching him, you know, almost get the rod ripped out of his hand by fish. And now he's fishing next to me, just like he's my buddy, and I miss a fish. He's, he's giving me hell. Go ahead, buddy. Pick it up if you can. You I got can't, it. Just I can't push get straight up. There you go. Hold on, just stay right there. Keep reeling. There you go. I'm gonna come right underneath. Yeah. He's on autopilot. He's baiting his own hook. He, he's getting the bait. He's doing everything I've taught him. And it's just like fishing with anybody else, you know, but better. So pretty, huh? All right, I'm gonna take him right back here. Don't reel anymore. Uh, I keep walking backwards. Can I hold them this time? Yeah, you want to hold them? Yeah. What do you think about dolphin fishing? It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, at least when you catch them. Yeah. Some days are easier than others. <laughs>